fucked up, homie, you fucked up. But if God got us, then we gon' be all right. right nigga, we right. gon' be all right. Nigga, we gon' be all right. What's good in your hood, everybody? I'm with the big guy, and today I'm reviewing the new indie game on the block, Haiti. This game was wildly anticipated by a lot of PC gamers. Was it as wildly anticipated as Undertale or Finance of Freddy's? No, but there are some PC gamers that were looking forward to this game, and judging by the reviews, it seems as though it's positive. But do I think it's good? Let's find out. This the story. There is none. Gameplay. Hades is a third person action adventure puzzle game. Emphasis on puzzle game. I hope you like those kind of games because Haiti is a bona fide old school style puzzle game. Meaning you'll be going back and forth, back and forth, solving specific puzzles, conundrums, and sometimes even time predicaments. And the solution to a specific puzzle isn't always right there. Sometimes you gotta go back to some room to get a previous item in order to access another room to access another item. It may seem monotonous and it's very bad for people who hate backtracking, but if you like that kind of gameplay, I do recommend that you give this game a try. But keep in mind the negative that I will tell you later. Now, let's move on to the positives. The game reminds me a lot of Portal with its similar art style. Both are simplistic, use color white distinctively, and both really seem to pop out amongst the simple colors. The game looks very good too, I mean, a lot of the environments are good, with the exception of some. But the game does look good, models look good too, and Haiti looks good as well, in more ways than one, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Okay, but seriously though, <clears throat> the controls are super intuitive, old school, yet intuitive, and simple to get used to. You know, this button is jump, this button unlock crates, blah 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 blah. Hades model, like I said, looks good. I like the way the light shines up on her, even though there's kind of no water effects on her. That's kind of weird. It's not a negative, it's just something I noticed. Also, these puzzles are very well designed. Don't think you can just get through these puzzles unless you're some puzzle with okay some of these puzzles will stump you like this room right here god i hate this room with the water and the blue buttons it got it got on my nerves not every game is perfect and let's see how many l's that haiti can rack up let's see l's. first of all i get that you want to show the sex appeal with haiti but the camera's way too close to her yes in the settings you can adjust it to be farther away but the farther setting is still too close Please release the patch that allows us to pull the camera back. I get it, I get it. Her butt is the main focus of everything. That's really the main thing why, it's really the main reason why a lot of people bought this game, fucking perverts. But still, if you want me to solve puzzles, you want me to do platforming, I recommend that you move that camera back a, just a little bit. Also, these water effects look kind of bad, you know, like, I mean, they're not that bad. I've seen worse water effects, but I, you could have done a lot better with these water effects, I'm just saying. Also, this may get on your nerves a little bit, even though it wasn't really that hard to figure out. Like I said, the controls are simple, but the game doesn't tell you what each button does. It just plops you in the world and says, oh, there you go. Good luck. And for a Fallout game, that's fine. At least they teach you the controls. But no, Aiden just drops you in the world, no introduction, no kind of instruction, no kind of nothing. You're on your own, figure things out for yourself. Haiti also has a very heavy jump. I mean, I'm talking Crash Bandicoot kind of heavy, and it's awkward too. Like I said, if you want me to do platforming, do not make your character with this kind of jump. It doesn't I know you, I can't really describe it unless you're playing it yourself, but with the combination of the too close camera and the heavy jump, it screams problems and frustration. Also, the walking is kind of weird, you know, like, you know, Haiti has an obvious strut when she walks, but she has a kind of a same strut when she skips, too. However, if you're walking in tight quarters with um, a bottomless pit below you, why would you make your character do a complete 180 to turn around, not just like snap and turn around? I came close to death a lot of times due to the character of Haiti not just snapping back to uh, the direction I want to go, but instead doing a complete 180 and almost careening off of a cliff. Also, 
please say frequently, but this isn't really a negative per se, you say it frequently. If you die in this game, you go back either to the beginning if you don't have any save points, or go back to your save point. So what I did was I discovered a save point early in the game. So I went back and I wanted to keep saving because I didn't want to go back to where I was. I'm even playing the game today and that's what I keep doing. And going back to the same save space is kind of tiring. I wish there were more of these. Also, it doesn't really help that you have limited amounts to save. You can get more by finding these little computer chips on the ground everywhere, but that doesn't really help ease the stress. Final verdict. So, overall, do I recommend Haiti? Like I said, the answer is either yes or no. If you like puzzles, if you like conundrums, if you like portal, and if you like diagonals, then I recommend pay. I can recommend Haiti. Uh, maybe when the price drops. If you're a puzzle fanatic, then go ahead and get it right now. It's priced fifteen dollars on the Steam Store. If you're not too crazy about Haiti and you're just lured into it, but I, I kind of don't really recommend this game for you. Like I said, this is a puzzle fanatics puzzle game. Did you find the review helpful? I hope so. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment too. I'm with the big guy and stay sexy. Right. Uh, and when I wake up, I recognize you looking at me for the pay cut. Bahamas, I be looking at you from the face down. One Mac 11 even boom with the face down. Skimming, and let me tell you about my life. Painkillers only.